This is a quick uh, tutorial into writing a simple question in Python code. We've already covered this uh, in class, but I just want to do something for revision and also want to show you some extra stuff to do with dealing with different user inputs. I'm also not using Idle, but a program called Thony, which is very similar to Idle, but, uh, but better. And you'll see why in a moment. So we're writing a question in Python code and the first thing we want to do is have a variable to hold the value that the user is going to input in answer to the question. So I'm going to call that variable q1 and that's equal to uh, an input which uh, is going to come from your user and then we need to have a question to, to set the user so that they can uh, respond to that. Um, so I'm going to put a, something like uh, what's the capital of the UK? Okay, so that's the question. And what we need to do then, of course, is to uh, test whether the user has put the right answer in. And, and to do that, we, we've got an if statement here uh, to begin with. And we want to say if q1, which is the variable, if q1 is equivalent to the correct answer, which we know is London, then something has to happen. We need to tell the user that they've got, got it right. So we basically print yes. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to refer to their answer so that uh, you can see how the uh, variable can be called at different points in this code. So yes, ending the quotes there, putting a comma, and then the variable name, q1, another comma, and then continuing with the rest of what uh, I want to display to the user. So yes, Q1 is the capital of the UK. So there we are. And now, if they get it wrong, so if that uh, Q1 isn't the same as London, we want to say, uh, well, you've got it wrong, basically. And so we can say print no uh, Q1 is not the capital of the UK. Full stop there. Okay, what if we're missing? Oh, yeah, we're missing a quotation mark there, and we might as well put a full stop in there. So if we run that, that should hopefully work. Let's see. We we'll run it. What's the capital of the UK? And I'm going to type in London, and oh. OK, it says, no, London is not the capital of the UK. Now, the reason for that, as you might see here, is that the, I've started London with, in a lower case. And that doesn't match uh, the test that we have here in the if statement. So in order to overcome that, because people will, they won't put the capitals in or they'll type it in, in slightly different ways. To overcome that uh, a bit, you can force the user input to have the first character as uppercase. And to do that, you put dot title and open and close brackets and what that does is that it makes the input it turns that the first character into uppercase so let's run that again and what's the capital of the UK and I'm typing here in lowercase London and the answer is yes London is the capital of the UK and you can see here it's added a, a capital letter to the front now so what I can show you now is uh, one of the nice things about this program, Thony. So you can actually see the code work as, uh, line by line. Uh, so if we debug this, we can see that we're getting the first line of code is played in. Uh, so what is the capital of the UK? And I'm going to type in London. Again, enter. And what we can do is we can step into this if statement and see what the Q1 is now. So we're saying that Q1 is that input, London, uh, and that's equivalent to the correct answer. So then we move through that and it's checking, is London the same as London? True, yes it is. So then we can move on to print yes, Q1, London, which is what we put in there, is the capital of the UK. And that run through to the end of the, the program. So let's see if we if we put the wrong answer in, let's see what happens there. 
So just one more go with the debug and we'll step into this. What's the capital of the UK? And I'm going to put something silly, like I'm going to write Paris, because there we are. Uh, and what happens there, you can see how the title, the dot title, open and close brackets, works on that input by making the first character into an uppercase letter. And then that moves into the next part of the program, the if statement, Q1, Paris with the capital, is equivalent to London. Checking that, and it's false. So then instead of running the next line, it moves on to else because it's not true and it will print no, Paris is not the capital of the UK. And that's the end of the program. So I hope that helps to kind of clarify some of the issues that you may have been having writing this sort of uh, program and uh, see you later.